This is the pattern of progress. A new technology grows rapidly and quickly displaces another. Here is my thinking. If we want to solve all of the biggest problems the world is facing as quickly as possible, then we should study as many examples as we can of when the world has changed dramatically in a short time, both for good or for bad, to see what lessons we can learn. Hello everyone, my name is Brad Libby, and I have been doing exactly that, studying the times when the world changed quickly, and I've noticed a pattern. Let me give you an example. In 1896, Henry Ford built his first automobile, the Quadricycle. In 1905, he started the Ford Motor Company, and in 1908, he started making the Model T. The world was about to change, fast. At that time, there were about 20 million horses in the US. If each one traveled 1,500 miles or 2,400 kilometers per year, then American horses combined traveled about 80 billion miles per year, or about eight times the distance from the sun to Pluto. 13 years later, in 1922, there were 10 million cars in the US. People had used horses for transportation for 6,000 years, but that all came crashing down for the horse in a decade. Through a convergence of other technologies, including ironically the horse carriage, but also steel, oil, the internal combustion engine, the pneumatic tire, and the assembly line, humanity had unlocked a new form of transport, the automobile, with all of the good and bad effects it has had. I've seen this pattern many times before, and we are now seeing the same pattern in the adoption of the technologies that are shaping our future. Solar photovoltaics, wind turbines, lithium ion batteries, autonomous robo-taxis. The pattern of progress is not stopping, it's not even slowing down. If anything, it's accelerating. It's accelerating us to a stellar world of superabundant energy, transportation, superabundant robotic labor, materials, and more.